Hello everyone, it's Melody Stroud. Thank you so much for joining me for my weekly Live at Lunch show every Monday at noon central, 1 p.m. Eastern, right here at Esborn Book Barn on Facebook. So today I wanted to share with you um, one of my really, really favorite books that does not get a lot of love anymore. So I want to make sure that you are aware of it because you just might love it too. And then I want to talk about a great one for preschoolers, like itty bitties, and then some of the stuff that we're reading at night. Hi, Lisa. Do you want to come sit right here, Anna? My, Your books are right here. Sorry, we've got Anna books. Okay, so you sit right here by me. Okay, so I'm going to show them going to the doctor. Give me a whiteboard. When I'm done, I'll get you a whiteboard. Yes. Can you be really quiet? The big whiteboard's on the ceiling. Okay. Yay! Well, hi. So, this is Going to the Doctor. It's an Usborne First Experiences book. We used to have a whole bunch of first experiences. We used to even have a really great combined volume of them, but we don't anymore. But that's okay. Um, um, the Going to the Doctor, um, Going to School, Going to the Dentist, these are a really great throwback to kind of the original Usborne days. Um, this, it looks kind of old, looks kind of vintage, but it is so much fun and you can still get it. I don't know how long we're going to have these because they are old school, um, but my cat's going crazy. Um, but they are so, so good. So I wanted to make sure that you knew about them. Going to the doctor. So this is the library version. You gotta be real quiet. Okay, thank you. This is the library version. Right now on our website, um, if you go to look for this, you'll see a P for paperback, and I think it's $4.99. And it looks just like this, it's just paperback. Or you'll see an L for library version, and that's this one. It just means that it's just, you know, a lot more durable. The pages are even a little bit heavier, and its binding is just a tad bit tighter. It's, you know, made for libraries, made to be, you know, tossed around. And that kind of happens at my house anyway. So um, I knew that I loved this book, and I wanted to get it where it would just stand the test of time. So I did pay a little bit more and get the library version. But... Um, either way, let's take a look inside. It's so, so good. I'm going to move this just a little bit so you can see. Okay. You can see my wall back there. Okay. Um, so, it's so sweet. So see me, see me, see no. me. You have to be quiet to go upstairs. All right. So, let me tell you about this book. Any book that is illustrated by Stephen Cartwright is going to have a little yellow duck hidden somewhere in each page. Stephen Cartwright is also the illustrator of our fabulously wonderful um, Farmyard Tales collection, which is so great. And so look right here. This is what we call a dual reader, which is just like the Farmyard Tales too, if you, if you have that. This is an easier reading level up top. And then down here, you have a little bit more challenging reading level. So it really grows with your children. And so and it's so fun. I just love, I mean, this is like real life. There's the J family. Mrs. J phones the doctor. So I just so, so good. And there is a little hidden duck somewhere on there. There he is right there. So the way that I love to use these dual readers with Stephen Cartwright illustrations is, you know, I'll have maybe, you know, Mary beside me and Mary's nine. So Mary's reading and then Anna's on the other side of me and she's looking for the little hidden duck on each page. So I love it. Um, and it's just about them going to the doctor and it's so great for kids who, you know, have that trepidation, who are scared of going to the doctor. This is a great way to kind of get them ready, get them prepped for what's going to happen. Um, and look at the mom. <laughs> the Jays sit in the waiting room. It's just so true to life, y'all. Look at that. I love that expression. <laughs> it's so good. And so they, there's the doctor. It's a nice lady doctor. That's pretty cool. Hey, Danessa. Hey, Nadia. Um, let's see, this right here, you see this, and they do talk about vaccinations, and it says, uh, Dr. Woody gives Joey his immunization, it only hurts a little, she gives him some drops so he won't get polio, <laughs> I love it, 
it's just so vintage. I, that's what I love. I'm an Esborn collector. I was before I started selling, um, and I just, I love it. I love it. So, just such a great book. And then at the end, she goes to the doctor, gets some medicine. Look at the end. I love it. That evening, Mr. J comes home from work. <laughs> I look at the mom. Look at the mom. So great. So I just love it. This is a really fun book to have in your bag when you do go to the doctor. And then we also have going to the dentist and going to school. So you'll see these on our site if you search for going to, then they'll pop up. Anyway, I had to share that with you because I really don't know how how long we're going to have these first experience books. We had more and they've gone away. Um, and so, oh, I just love them. I just love them. Anyway, so there's that. Um, also, Who's Ready to Play? This is a wonderful book. Doesn't get a lot of love yet. And I think it's just because we have so many great books that there are some really wonderful ones that kind of get lost in the mix. So I wanted to show you Who's Ready to Play and lots of other questions. So it's a great book where you search and find the differences. And so you open it up. And you and your preschooler are sitting together, and it says, who's splashing whom? And these same animals are on every page, and you have to look and see. Oh, look, elephant splashing kangaroo. I know who's splashing. Yeah, you know who's, um, who's splashing. Um, the whale. That's right, the whale's splashing. And then we turn the page. Again, it's the same animals. But a different question. Who's upside down? So it turns into a really fun game. Anna, who's upside down? Um, monkey. monkey. That's right. Monkey's upside down. So just super fun. Um, the only hard, there's, there's one really hard page, and this is it. It's the third page. Who swapped places? I, I never can tell. I always have to go back and like, oh, man, who's in a different page? Okay, come right back. Anyway, that's the only, like, really hard page. Um, there's a really funny page. Let me show you. Okay, get those books out. Look at this page. <laughs> who's pooped? Oh, my goodness. So that's always a funny one. Kids love that one. So just a really great book. How much is this? It's. $9.99, it's $10. It's a hardback, big book, which is just really fun. It can turn into a game. Okay, and then the last um, books I wanted to show you is kind of what we like to read at night for bedtime. Um, we're reading through this, I think, for like the fourth or fifth time. <laughs> Anna loves this one, uh, which I think is really cool because it is, you know, more for the boys, but um, it's adventure, and that's, you know, um, gender neutral, right? Adventure. So, illustrated adventure stories. Um, we, I'm telling you, we've read these so many times. So, this one has The Count of Monte Cristo, Prisoner of Zenda, Don Quixote, Three Musketeers, and The 39 Steps. I was really only familiar with The Three Musketeers um, before before getting this. Sweetheart. <laughs> I want that pumpkin. Okay, all right, come on. She emptied out a whole box of books for the box, but that's okay. What else are we going to do today, right? We can fix that. All right, sit down with me. Okay. Can you put your books in the box while I talk? All right. So, this is a super great book. And these are all, we have a whole bunch in this series. This is our puffy hardback. I know many of you are regulars on here. So, so glad that you're here. And you guys already have this book. It's fabulous. Um, and I like that the illustrations are different from story to story because these are so beautiful, but maybe your child, you know, isn't really fond of this particular illustrator or this style. Well, there's another style in the next story. So I really love that. This is Don Quixote. That's where we are. Um, but it's just so, so interesting. And since these are, of course, a bridge stories, it's great, like, for me as an adult to finally understand, okay, so this is what The Count of Monte Cristo is about. All right, I get it. So that's really, really neat. Um, because there's an episode, the pilot episode of Murder, She Wrote, is when Jessica Fletcher goes to um, a masquerade-like party, and she's Cinderella's godmother, and the man who invited her, one of the publishing guys, is... Um, the guy from County Monte Cristo, and I never understood. Anyway, 
I'm a big Murder, She Wrote fan. I was so sad when they took up, they took it off of Netflix. Took it off of Netflix. Why, Netflix, did you get rid of Jessica? Anyway, this is a great book. And then um, another one, more girly, of course, Princes and Princesses. This is a wonderful gift for um, any, any little princess lover in your life that you think has all of the princess stories. Because this book has lots of new ones, which I thought was really cool. We've read this too. Thank you, sweetie. A ticket. A ticket, yes. I mean, this has so many great stories that we had never heard of. Some we have, The Frog Prince, 12 Dancing Princesses. But then it has The Ugly Prince, The Princess on the Glass Hill, The Grateful Prince, Princess Nobody. Uh, and then, of course, you have Sleeping Beauty in there. So you do have some well-known favorites. Hey, Natalie. But you also have some um, that, you know, your your little princess, princess lover. Nobody. That's right. Your princess lover probably hasn't heard of. So this is just a really great book. And these are all $20. They're all $19.99. Look, they look princess so pretty. Nobody. We'll have to read it. You don't remember it? No. No, we'll have to read it. remember Princess Nobody. I know. Um, but my favorite is this. I just love Charles Dickens. I love all of his stories. And so this is just a really great way to introduce your kids to stories from Dickens. Oh, so, so great. And, um, oh, it's just, there he is, little David Copperfield. Oh, that's Oliver Twist. We have Oliver Twist, David Copperfield, A Tale of Two Cities, um, Bleak House, and Great Expectations. So, so good. And then at the end, you do have um, kind of a life and times of Charles Dickens. So this is just a great, great read aloud. We've read this a few times as well. So, so good. I love it. I love it. So good. Anyway, and again, just $20. Maybe that's just a steal. Out, um, off, off of this. I won't take books out of your box. And then this one is really, really neat if you're interested in uh, exposing your kids to different cultures. This book has myths and fables from all around the world. Um, and it's really cool because if you have any little Moana fans, it has the story of Maui in here. <laughs> Which I know. And it's like, what? We read it. But I think it's so cool. I'll show it to you. Um, but yeah, just from all, all over. Here's, this one's called, it's called The Fish of Maui, which kind of explains a lot that the movie doesn't about Maui, which I thought was neat. Um, it also has a great story about the, about how the Giant's Causeway came to be in Ireland. My first trip with Usborne was to Ireland, and um, I had a chance to go see the Giant's Causeway, but I didn't. I kind of regret that now, um, but this story, this myth of Finn McCool... Um, tells about that. So it's so neat. And in the beginning of each one, there's a little kind of intro that tells you about it. Um, but just so many really just great see, stories. I can't right now. I'm talking just a second. Anyway, so this is a great one too. So yay. All right, I'm going to skip scoop. Okay, well, we are going to um, do my live. We're going to do Anna's live um, on a different page, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> but I hope you have a great day, and uh, be sure to join me on UBB Special Peeps on Wednesday for story time. We are going to read, oh, Anna Poo, you moved. Oh, here they are. We are going to read either Animally or Americanly. And um, if you're in, this way, ooh, if you're in my UBB Special Peeps group, it's a special group, then you get to vote. I'll, um, I'll have the voting uh, probably start later today. So let me know which one you, wanna, you want me to read for our story time, which is perfect for your kids. I do it around lunchtime, so you can, you know, have a sandwich and sit together and hear a fun story. Yay!
Have a wonderful day, and congratulations to Samantha Kingston, who is our big winner over in our party uh, last week, again, in UBB Special Peeps. I'm not allowed to do any kind of giveaways or specials on this page anymore. Esborn um, changed their policies for that, which is fine, but I moved everything over to UBB Special Peeps. So be sure that you're on there so you can see all the specials and happies that we have going on every week over there. All right. Have a great day, friends. I will see you soon.